Hi, Mrs. Renfield. They, they told me that, uh, that you were here. Are you all right? I don't know. I, I just don't know. Is there anything I can do? I don't think there is anything anyone can do except for myself. Mrs. Renfield, look, I know that you're worried about quitting, but we just have to believe that he's going to be all right, you know. Oh, my dear. Nola. You don't understand. You just don't understand. Understand what? That I am having to face the hardest decision of my life. I find that I cannot face it alone. Well, Mrs. Renfield, let me help you. If only you could. If this has something to do with quitting... Uh... Yes, it does. You see, I... I made him a promise. But now I find that I... Mrs. Renfield, look, I know quitting well enough that... that if you made him a promise, I know he wouldn't hold it to you if he knew that you were in this much pain. Uh, just tell me what it is. Just, you know, uh, anything I can do? Very well, Nola, I will tell you. But first... First, I must tell you that neither I nor Mr. McCord have, have ever told another living soul. But you see, suddenly I, I have been put in this, this, this position of having to make a decision whether or not to break that promise. Right now, Mr. McCord is, is lying on that operating table and he might... I cannot allow for Henry Chamberlain not to know. Not to know what? To know that Quinton McCord is in reality. His son. What did you say? What did... Uh, yes, it's true. He is Henry Chamberlain's son. Oh. I don't know. Why doesn't anybody know about this? Oh, Nola. It's a long story. It happened many, many years ago. My dear, I don't have time to tell you now. Nola, I... I need your help. Well, anything. Well, other than Vanessa Chamberlain, you and I are the only two people who know the truth. I don't know how she found out. But I must say one thing. I feel relieved that you... that you finally know. Because you might be the one person who can help me to decide what to do. Whether or not to tell him Henry Chamberlain. Yes. You, you see, Nola, I... I made Mr. McCord this, this promise. I promised him that I would never tell Henry Chamberlain unless Mr. McCord was... Well, now, now, you see, suddenly we are in this dreadful predicament. He is lying on that operating table and... And you want to know... Whether or not to tell Henry Chamberlain, that's what you want to know. Yes. Yes, I do, but I don't know what to do. I feel that if I don't tell Henry Chamberlain everything that's happening, that, 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 that is wrong. On the other hand, if I do tell him, won't it make his pain even worse? For him to find out that his son has been living here in Springfield all this time and has never revealed himself. Nola, a worse dilemma. Henry Chamberlain has a weak heart. Will he stand the shock? Oh, my dear, I don't know what to do. Look, Mrs. Renfield, Quinton made you promise that... not to tell Henry Chamberlain unless he was dying, right? That's... Well, he's not gonna die. He's gonna be all right. And we just have to believe that. We have to trust in that. For all of us. Thank you. 
Thank you. All right, get that bleeder. Clamp it off. Clamp. Sponge. Clamp. Scalpel. How are we doing? His pressure is still 80 over 50. His pulse is up to 130. All right, I freed the spleen. Clamp. All right, give me some suction. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Clamp. It's down to a 70. I think you better get out as fast as you can. All right, pump in two more units of blood. Right. Renfield, we better get back to the waiting area. Might be some news. Yes, I think you're right, Nola. He's gonna be all right, Mrs. Renfield. He's gonna be fine. Nola, what am I going to tell Henry Chamberlain? I mean, how can I keep this from him? That his own son is... Mrs. Renfield, Quentin is not going to die. He is not gonna die. Chamberlain. Oh, what is it? Have you heard anything about Quentin? No, no, dear. I haven't heard anything new. It's just that they were looking for you, and uh, I had a feeling you'd be here. But, uh, but there must be some word. Mr. Chamberlain, before we go, I... I think I should tell Mrs. you Renfield, that... please, I, I think we should find out about Quentin. Have you heard anything? Uh, they're finishing up the operation, but nobody said how it went. Oh, why not? I don't know, honey. Well, they would have said something if he would have been all right, wouldn't they? No, now, not necessarily, dear. The fact that we haven't heard doesn't mean that it's bad news. He's right, Nola. I'm just so tired of not knowing anything. How is it? We're waiting to find out. Tony, do you think you could try to find Dr. Marler and maybe he'll tell you what he won't tell me? No, I think we should leave him alone. He's probably pretty busy. Come on, that was something to tell you before too long. It's already been too long. I'm just glad I have my mind. Well, don't. All right? Oh. Oh. <clears throat>